Today's video, I want to go over something really, really cool. So you guys know how probably about a year ago, I was talking about how my Digital Storm gaming PC, the first ever Lynx to really be developed by Digital Storm, kind of broke down and just wasn't a good PC whatsoever. Well, there's kind of an update about two years later, and well, let me just get straight into this. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is obviously my gaming PC. This is the Digital Storm Lynx Level 4, but obviously the new Level 4s, the new Digital Storm Lynxes in general, all of them, with doesn't matter which level you go with, they're all going to be different from what this one is. The original specs of this one, though, the CPU is an Intel Core i7 9700K. It's got a NVIDIA GeForce 2070 RTX graphics card, which is insane it's got eight gigabytes of ram but as you guys can see there's four sticks so i added two so it's got 32 gigs of ram to it now it's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive with a one terabyte ssd and it's got a 750 watt power supply with cpu cooling and an awesome motherboard that i literally have no idea what the motherboard is i'm not really good with motherboards but you can just kind of picture this yourself you have the whole view here <laughs> i honestly feel like i'm gonna have to move this out of the way even though it's so pretty to look at it's 50 pounds, so it's a little heavy. Guys, so the biggest thing that I want to mention in this video is that when I said that my PC kind of broke down, like I couldn't play any games, I couldn't do really anything. Well, turns out it wasn't actually a GPU problem that I first had assumed the problem was being created from. It was actually my CPU. Believe it or not, my GPU is perfectly fine. Even though I took it apart, which you're not supposed to take apart your GPU, even when you're cleaning it, I took apart my GPU. So instead, I actually could use a new CPU. Now, all of my parts and components within the PC are actually still good. It's just a matter of when you're dealing with a whole bunch of stuff that I do, such as editing, like a video editing program, such as Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, then you have COD and Fortnite, you kind of need a better CPU than what I have. Even though my CPU is really good, the better the CPU, the less issues you have. Because a better CPU means that it'll have more cores and more processors within the cores to then handle the threads of what you're doing. So basically meaning the bigger the better. And now guys, I want to specifically say this, that just because you might get like a, a weaker gaming PC from Digital Storm doesn't mean that it's going to be bad. Most of the gaming PCs that are on the market nowadays are incredibly good and honestly they're overkill in my opinion. So for instance, the, the stuff that I just listed off of my gaming PC just now is overkill for what I do, except I know that I just kind of counterbalance myself with it sucks, but it, it's also good. It's overkill because of the stuff that I do. However, it's not overkill and I do need a new CPU to handle things better. It's a complicated area that I'm not too sure if I really even understand myself. But again, the bigger the better. It doesn't always mean the more expensive the better. Because my PC, if I built it myself, I could have probably saved about $500. However, it was not cheap. It was over $2,000. And again, I could have gotten the same stuff, if not better stuff, for a lot cheaper. Now, before I forget, a lot of you might be thinking, how did you figure out that you need a new CPU? Well, Digital Storm has a really good customer service, but how I found out was basically how I use my PC on a daily basis. So, if I'm using a game, so if I'm playing Call of Duty, it's a huge, huge game. I would run Call of Duty as well as YouTube or music or something in the background as well. Now, for these specs, that would do nothing. Like, specs would be up here versus everything running would be down here. So, it wouldn't be that much of an issue. However, after doing that consistently every single day since I got the PC, it does tend to ruin it a little bit. It's like basically an overclock, but not overclocking it. Now, if you guys want to do me a huge favor after watching this whole video let me know what you guys would like to see from me next whether it be something tech related whether it be a vlog whether it be a challenge my whole idea was to make this channel a vlog channel but i would also include challenges with it but in a vlog style however i kind of did mess up on my own part with the whole fact of making vlogs over a very popular video of mine that was naming off a digital storm pc obviously we can all tell that tech challenges and pc videos do way better than anything else so that's it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.